The Royal Navy's newest aircraft carrier, HMS Prince of Wales, has been the subject of a number of complaints from locals, who say the ship is keeping them up at night. Neil Sutton, who lives in Gosport's converted Royal Clarence Marina, claimed the hum created from the generators was easily heard throughout his neighbourhood. He told the Portsmouth News about how residents are being bombarded by the noise and pollution of HMS Prince of Wales. No resident in this long stretch of waterfront can escape the sound of this ship, particularly at night time, Mr Sutton said. In this time, of national crisis and forced lockdown, when people are supporting the country and the NHS by staying at home in our flats and houses, why can we not open our windows and enjoy the peace and tranquility of the moment? HMS Prince of Wales returned to Portsmouth Naval Base last month, after visiting her affiliated city of Liverpool and conducting sea trials in the Irish Sea. She commissioned into the Royal Navy in December, before opening to the public for the first time during the visit to Liverpool, earlier this year. The Queen Elizabeth-class aircraft carriers were together for the first time in December, picture, Royal Navy. Prince of Wales is the second of the Queen Elizabeth-class aircraft carriers to be based at Portsmouth Naval Base, which is near residential areas of Gosport, local councillor June Cully said complaints of this kind have been raised previously by residents, particularly when the ships first arrived. The two carriers were side by side in Portsmouth for the first time last December. It's like a hum, it is a large ship and noise does travel. Some people have raised it as a concern with the naval base and the harbour master, said Ms Cully. Most people appreciate having the carriers here, but a way of working more reasonable hours would suit, but they are naval ships and we have to go according to their needs but it's a balance that needs to be struck. Portsmouth Naval Base has installed a £13 million electricity station to power the carriers, but a Royal Navy spokesperson said that the ships were still required to use their generators for limited periods. Royal Navy policy is to provide shore power to all vessels which are alongside whenever possible, providing the lowest impact on the local environment, they said, adding that a new power plant had been created to supply the carriers with electricity. The carriers and the power plant remain on initial trials, and there will be occasions when the ships will need to use their own generators, the spokesperson continued. These periods are always for the minimum amount of time necessary. Cover image. HMS Prince of Wales arriving into Portsmouth in March 2020, picture, P.A., let's block ads. Why?